Women, what's the worst part about dating a broke guy? The most traumatic experience of my life was dating a broke guy. He lived in his mom's basement and didn't have a job, so he made me pay for everything like his rent, his games and food. Whenever I told him he needed a job, he'd either tell me you've changed. All you care about is money and oh my god will you stop asking me to apply to jobs. I'm literally streaming right now. This is my job. Half of my savings were drained from taking care of my man baby of a boyfriend, so I had to resort to other ways of making money, and fast. The bad thing was that he had access to my bank account and would get excited whenever he saw my money increase. He even had the nerve to ask me where we were going out to eat to celebrate, though I knew that was just a sneaky way to get a meal out of me. When he asked me for the gazillionth time, I told him that we were only going out to eat if he paid for it. He immediately got defensive and said that he couldn't do that because he was testing my loyalty and that he wanted to make sure I wasn't a gold digger. I don't even know how he thought that when he didn't have any gold. Even the clothes on his back were bought by me. He then went on a whole rant about how I don't appreciate him and all women are the same because we just want men for their money. I cut him off to remind him that he's freeloading and the women in his life are paying for everything. I told him that if he was a real man with money like he claimed he was, then he would buy an apartment and move out from his mom's basement. I must have hit a nerve because he stormed out of the basement and went to tell his mom to kick me out. He was crying and throwing a tantrum, and his mom had to apologize for him. I told her not to worry about it and just left. My boyfriend and I didn't talk for a while after that. I honestly couldn't stand to look at him after all he put me through and I was also waiting for him to contact me. I was sick of putting him first when he never did that for me, so I wanted this time to be different. And it was different in more ways than I could imagine because I suddenly received a text from him saying to meet him at a random location. When I put it into maps, I saw it was an apartment complex and I got so excited because I thought he had finally listened to me and was making a better life for himself. I wasn't even mad that he hadn't contacted me for weeks. When I got to the apartment, I saw my boyfriend waiting outside and he told me that he would be living there from now on. I hugged him tight and told him I was happy for him. He then gave me a tour of the apartment, which was in really good condition. I asked him if this meant we were going to be living together, and he said yes, because the apartment was under my name. I asked him what the hell he was talking about, and he smiled while telling me that he had paid for the apartment with my money. I quickly took out my phone to check my bank account while he explained his whole process. He said he had transferred money from my bank account to his and met up with a real estate agent, who eventually showed him this apartment. Then, he signed everything under my name and I was going to be the one paying rent. I almost passed out when I saw that my savings were drained. Every dollar I had worked so hard for was just gone. I fell to the floor and tried hard not to cry. I couldn't even properly think and my boyfriend was making everything worse by saying that I was the reason he moved out and was able to find such a nice place. He said it was so good that I came into some money or else he wouldn't have been able to afford the apartment. When he said that I needed to go back to doing what I was doing to make money so that I could pay for rent, I actually passed out. When I woke up, my boyfriend called me dramatic for passing out and told me to order food. He didn't even bother asking if I was okay or not. I realized then that this man baby wasn't worth loving, and I didn't have to put up with him any longer. So, I told him I was breaking up with him. The dude actually had the nerve to laugh in my face. He said we couldn't break up because he needed my money. I asked him if that's all he liked about me, and he said no because he also liked my body. And then he tried to make a move on me, saying that we should try out the bed for the first time and see if it's sturdy. I told him that I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole and left, but not before telling him that we were over. I froze my accounts the same day to make sure he couldn't get any money out of me, but no matter how much I thought about it I couldn't believe he would take things this far. I knew I had to get back at him, there had to be some way. After thinking about it for a day straight, I realized something. The apartment was under my name, meaning I could get my ex kicked out. I knew he wouldn't budge if I just told him to leave so I had to get creative. I literally had to watch a bunch of videos about women talking about their experience with dating broke men to get the perfect idea for revenge. The next day, I went to the apartment, unlocked the door and saw my boyfriend watching TV. Then, I let out the most blood-curdling scream I could muster. I started shouting what are you doing here? How'd you get inside? Just leave me alone. With my screams, I attracted the attention of my neighbors and I made sure to act afraid. My ex was confused though and he came up to me, but I just shouted some more and told him not to get closer. An older woman came up to me to ask what was wrong and I told her to call the police because this man was my ex and he somehow got into my apartment. I didn't like resorting to this method but my sanity flew out the window when all my money disappeared. Luckily, the woman believed me and called the cops, even if my ex kept telling them that he was my boyfriend. I said that we had just broken up and he broke into my apartment because he was pissed. The women kept me safe from him and some men stopped him from getting near me. They told him to back off before things got bad real quick, and it was a good thing those men were buff and looked like they knew how to fight, unlike my scrawny ex-boyfriend. When the police came, they asked what the situation was and I told them that this was my apartment, he was my ex, and I found him in there probably waiting to do something to me. My ex on the other hand said that I was his girlfriend and it was his apartment, but it seemed like he had forgotten that he signed the apartment under my name so there was no proof that he was telling the truth. He started yelling at everyone, saying that I was a liar and the cops were pigs. He called me manipulative and a beach, a hole in every name in the book. At some point the cops put him in the back of their car when he looked like he was going to get violent. It was lucky that his attitude helped sell my story. I was also glad the cops believed me and asked how I wanted to proceed with the whole thing. I knew that my boyfriend wouldn't forgive me for this scheme and I was worried he would actually try to do something in the future. I wanted to be safe from him, both mentally and physically. I didn't want to be looking over my shoulder my entire life and waiting for him to strike. So, 
I told the police officer that I wanted to file a restraining order against him. The police complied and we started the process. It's been six months since then and I'm doing better. I managed to get my money back from doing what I was doing before this whole thing started. As for the apartment, I decided to rent it and make some more money. I haven't heard from my ex since and I hope that I never do. Though I wouldn't be shocked if he was back to living in his mom's basement. And before you ask, the way I made enough money to buy an apartment outright was with that Bloom Learn to Invest app that went viral.